In this video, we will see how to mosaic rasters in R. So, I will show in QGIS. We are having these two rasters, but one is having this much seen, and the other is having this much. So, we will be mosaicing these two rasters, and we are having three bands for each. These are all sentinel bands. 843 843 so we are having three bands of both the scene and we will be mosaicing it in r so go to r and we need library raster so first we will load this so now we will save the working directory you have to give the path of your folder where you have saved these rasters now we will read individual bands of both scenes so i am reading the band 3 of both the sin. So since you see, uh, it's not tiff dot tiff, it is dot jp two. Since Sentinel data are available in dot jp two, so we have to write accordingly. So run it and plot it. Similarly, the same band of sin two we will be reading and plotting it. So, I am plotting this scene 2 on scene 1 using add equal to true. So, this is scene 1 and scene 2 will be plotted on the same plot. Okay, see here, there are some overlapping areas and that's why it is not visible. Then, similarly, we will be reading band 4 and band 8 of both the scene. For reading, the function we use is raster as I have shown in all previous videos. Now we will go for mosaicing individual bands using function mosaic. So we have to write like this. Like I am mosaicing band 3. So I am naming it band 3 and then function mosaic. Then band 3 of scene 1 and band 3 of scene 2. And then function we have to use max because this is for overlapping areas. So, if you are using max, then you will not see this type of no data values in the overlapping areas. We can also use minimum and mean, but we will see what occurs if you are using minimum or mean. So, first we will mosaic band 3 using as a overlapping function as max. Now, plot it. So, you can see now in the overlapping areas, whichever band is having the maximum value, that band value will be there in the mosaic data. If you want to see what happens to, if you are taking fun overlapping function as mean, that I just added t means I am testing it. So you can see here, it will be taking time, so I will be skipping the video. Now you see, if you are using mean, we will be ending up only raster of the area where both scene are having some data. Similarly, if you are using mean, then again you will find something that is not useful so you will find like this so better we have to use overlapping function as max so we will not be using this so you can just make it as comments now similarly we will be mosaicing the band 4 of both scene and band 8 of both scene now we can stack these mosaic bands in sequence of NIR, R and green means band 8, band 4 and band 3 and we will be using function stack for that and then we will plot the RGB using plot RGB function and we have to use stretch argument and we can use linear or histogram here. We can, we can run it. So you can see the mosaic FCC. Now we can write this raster to disk so we have to use write raster and mosaic stack and the name of the output file and you can always use overwrite is equal to true if you have already run this code so it will be overwriting now we can also mosaic using the same function the already stacked images so we will be stack creating a stack of scene 1 using again function stack and sequence we have to maintain here 
in both the scene so for scene 1 I am creating a stack and plotting RGB so this is the scene 1 similarly the scene 2 we will be stacking and plotting this is the scene 2 now we can mosaic the stack image itself so same function we will be using and we have to write those stacks stack 1 stack 2 and again we will be using function as max and then we will plotting it so finally this is the mosaic FCC and now we can again write this also the output will be the same so this is how we can mosaic single band rasters and multiple band rasters using raster package of R. Thank you for watching.